Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about the lack of videos recently. I'm not gonna give you some long-winded excuse as to why I haven't been uploading. I just haven't because reasons. But I am gonna get back into the swing of it and start uploading once a week again on a Friday. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. But to get back into the swing of it today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top five drugstore products. All the products I'm gonna be talking about today are actually currently on my face right now. Not that you can see them very well because the lighting is a whole other situation today. But I'll come a bit closer so you guys can actually attempt to see what is on my face. The lighting is not much better here, but you can kind of see it a little bit better. Now you can actually see the eyeshadow, which is a start. But let's get on with what products I am loving. I'm gonna start off with base products and I shall start off with concealer. I've actually got two concealers in this video, but the first one are these NYX HD concealers in the green and the yellow. These are five pounds each in boots, either online, and then certain boot stores do also have a NYX counter. I got very lucky and my local boots does have one, much excite. I love these so much, they're great for colour correcting, they are the best colour correcting concealers I've used. The yellow is particularly great for my eyes because I have such dark circles and particularly dark eyelids, so this works brilliantly for making me look less dead. And the green, I don't have to use the green as much anymore because my skin's pretty clear, but I do still get red patches, so it's particularly handy for that. The only issue I have with these, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, the writing comes off these, like most concealers the writing comes off, but the trouble with these is the black stains your hands really badly, and if you don't realise before you finish doing your makeup, you kind of leave the house with like black marks all over your fingers, it's not an attractive look. Okay, the lighting seems to be all right now. Now I need the sun not to move or any clouds need to move for the next like five minutes. Please stay clouds. Anyway, my other concealer that I have been loving is a beauty blogger staple. It is a Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer. Much like the Wake Me Up foundation, a couple of years ago, everyone went mad for this. I think it's when it first came out. Everyone raved about it, how good it was. I didn't jump on the bad wagon until about a year and a half ago, and I fell in love. It is the most amazing concealer. This is probably like my third one of these, and it's great for under the eyes. Again, as I said, I have dark circles. It makes me look much more awake. It's great high coverage. It's not that awful kind of illuminating where in certain pictures you look like you've had shine, flashy, mega, ugh, not good look. This doesn't do that. It just gives you a nice kind of clean, glow, dewy, healthy look. How many describing beauty adjective words could I have thrown into one sentence there. Obviously, no base would be complete without a foundation. I used to be one of those people that was very much stuck to high-end foundations. I have for the last couple of years. I honestly believed that like they were better, you got what you paid for, they made my skin look amazing. Recently, I used to swear by MAC Studio Sculpt. It was like my hands down favorite foundation and I was more than prepared to go out and buy another one. Then I was in Boots and I was like, I need a new foundation now, I have none left. And I picked up the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour. This is the non-matte version. Because I'd heard good things about it, it was 9 99 I thought it's a bit on the higher end up. L'Oreal is kind of on the higher end up with the drugstore makeup, so it tends to be genuinely a little bit better than some of the other brands. So I thought, give it a shot. I've tried L'Oreal Foundation before, I've liked it. I love this, it is absolutely incredible. I don't think I'm going to go and get another foundation that is like this, regardless of high end or how much I paid for it. It is the best foundation I've ever used. It really suits my skin at the moment, where it's so dry from Raccutane. I need something that was kind of moisturising, hydrating, kind of like a nice dewy finish. I cannot get on with matte anymore. Matte foundations just make me look like I'm dead, basically, and look like I've got dry patches absolutely everywhere, which is true but I don't want my foundation picking them up. It does last an awful long time. I've not tried it for a full 24 hours, but I've done a good like 14 hours in it last Saturday for my birthday and it lasted well. I did have setting spray on, but it did last amazingly. Move on to eyes. Eyes are again another product where I tend to swing more towards like Urban Decay and MAC, purely because they are so worth the money. They're so pigmented, blendable, blah, 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 blah. But there are one product in the drugstore that I don't feel like any high-end brand has replaced yet, and that is the Maybelline Colour Tattoos 24 Hour Eye Studio. But I've got the shade Pink Gold and On and On Bronze. They go beautifully together. They work great on your own. They are the perfect lazy girl makeup these. You can just throw them on, blend them out a little bit, 
bash done eye makeup done and it looks like you put in a lot more effort than you actually have they also have great bases the last product i'm going to talk about is a lipstick which i can honestly say i'm pretty sure i prefer these lipsticks to my mac lipsticks i find myself going to grab these more than i do any of my mac ones so that kind of proves to me at least that they are good and it is the Rimmel The Only One Lipstick. These are a new one from Rimmel. I think they've been out a couple of months now. I've got two shades. The one I've got in my hand right now is Naughty Nude in number 700. This one's like a gorgeous mauve nude colour, your lips but better kind of look. And the reason I love these lipsticks is again, because Rakuten dries literally everything out, I've got really dry lips and I can't wear matte lipsticks, which is really annoying because a lot of my MAC ones are matte. So I kind of had to think, right, gonna have to go out and buy some new lipsticks. These I love because they're not super, super glossy. They're kind of like an in-between a matte and like a dewy, glossy looking one. So they last well on the lips, but they are not drying. They're so comfortable to wear. They're long lasting. I can drink with these and still, I can have a drink, eat, do anything, and they pretty much do still stay on. So they are brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you'd like me to do a kind of top high-end products in the next couple of weeks, leave a comment below or give this video a thumbs up. And I shall see you guys next Friday with my free month for Accutane update, which is far due because I'm nearly due to being on it four months. But you know, life got in the way. I shall see you guys soon. Bye.